welcome to another video a walk on the wild side and actually it's a ride on the wild side tonight we're heading down to the promenade blackpool promenade here on squires gate lane for ride the lights 2021 it's back after two years when the whole promenade from here up to red bank road is closed off to all traffic except cyclists and now we're heading on to the promenade now so if you haven't had a chance to come and do the ride the lights i'm going to do it for you so here we go just got to go through this uh, section here and then we're on to the promenade proper So this is where they've closed the road off and this is where if you come into Blackpool Illuminations you'll come underneath this uh, banner here from Squires Gate Lanes where most people do the illuminations you could, can obviously come the other way as well but the majority of people will come this way and as you can see there's quite a few people probably already gone round the circuit and come back again it's just after eight o'clock as I'm starting the Ride the Lights. It's a chance to preview the illuminations as well. We're just going past the tram depot here. This is the tram depot. We go all the way from here up to Fleetwood. The heritage trams, the old trams, they all go to the old depot at Rigby Road. So we're now just going around the bend now. And we're on to the straight then. Well, we'll then head towards the Pleasure Beach. I'll stop at the Pleasure Beach and uh, show you what's going on around there. Yep, ride the lights back for the first time since last year. Obviously last year, 2020, they couldn't hold the event last year due to the pandemic so it's good to have it back again so it's been very popular it's been going for I don't really know how long more than 10 years I'd say I've always taken part in it whenever I've got a chance We're going past the Great Promenade Show here on the left hand side from Squires Gate up to the Pleasure Beach is the Great Promenade Show where they have all these artworks. There's one there. That one's called Frankenstein. It's like a, um, a diving chamber thing uh, made into an artwork. So yeah, we're moving along now. Uh, doesn't seem too too busy actually I mean I've been on some of these ride the lights down the years and you can hardly move there's that many people but we'll see later on it might get a bit more busy as we get further up towards the pleasure beach we'll see we're just going past now some of the first hotels on the promenade these are some of the first the first hotel there is the new Mayfair but that's not open it's the first hotel you come to on South Promenade. We're now just going past a fairly new development. This is called Coastal Point. And I think there used to be a care home here. You see this uh, development here called Coastal Point. Yo! One. <laughs> so we're now. I can hear music. Someone's playing music. We're just about to go past the Solaris Centre. Ride the lights. Looking really busy now. There's a lot of bikes coming towards us. Oh, what is going on here? I have no idea what's going on here. I don't know 
know what this is all about. There's a mass of people coming towards us. I don't know what that was all about. But... Wow. I don't know what... All of a sudden, just a mass came towards us there and they were on all sides of the road. Now, you can go up and down. Um, there have been times where rider lights, I think, has been one way, but it's two way this time so it is you have to follow the the correct side of the road but just there it got i don't know what was going on there there was just a load of people and a load of music and they all came steaming towards us and we had to stop there for a few seconds so we're just passing the solaris center now that that was the solaris center there this hotel on the right here is called the Headlands. The Headlands Hotel. The next hotel we're coming to is the Hampton by Hilton. And this one, can you see how they've closed it off? I think they're extending this hotel. Can you see? This hotel is being extended. The Hampton by Hilton. This stands on the site of the old Warwick Hotel, if anybody remembers the Warwick. The Warwick Hotel used to stand right here in this crescent. There's a couple of these crescents on the promenade. See, so we're getting closer to the big one now, the Pleasure Beach. See the big one getting bigger. Another artwork on the left there, that one's called Desire of the Great Promenade Show. No mirror ball, no mirror ball yet. There's no mirror ball as of September. I think it might be October before the mirror ball comes back. The mirror ball has been held up because of the students that were supposed to be putting all the new mirrors on. There's, you know, with the restrictions, with the pandemic, that's why it's been held up. Anyway, we're just getting ever closer to the Pleasure Beach. Just look at all these people there. Eh? It's amazing, isn't it? It's just starting to get dark now. It's, uh, we're probably just about on sunset now, but it's too cloudy to see the sunset, unfortunately. Apart from that, it's not too bad. There's a few sprinkles of uh, very, very light sort of high pressure. There's a new hotel there called Coastal Plaza. That's a new one, that. Coastal Plaza. Getting very close to the Boulevard Hotel here. This is the new, or should I say the newest addition to the Pleasure Beach. The Boulevard Hotel stands on the site of the old Star Pub. Does anybody remember the Star Pub? There you go. Just down there is a big blue hotel. So this is the Boulevard Hotel. Underneath the big one roller coaster, which was completed in 1994 and was the tallest in the world for the next two years. Doesn't even get into the top 30 now, I don't think. Maybe not even that. So I'm gonna stop up here and we'll just have a little look around as we go past the Pleasure Beach now, ride the lights. 2021, August the 31st, the light switch on is on Friday this week. The switch on event takes place inside the tower build, it's inside the ballroom. traffic control going on up here There's people stop just letting people out of the car park so we will carry on but I will just stop up here and we'll have a little look around before we carry on
Ripley's believe it or not on the right hand side I've been in there for a long time right okay I'll just come off here I just wanted to stop here and show you this this used to be Venus Reborn has anybody waited for a heritage tram because this is the way you board the heritage tram just across the road from the pleasure beach and this used to be a water fountain feature thing with music and all that sort of thing and it's been um, sort of dismantled and I wondered whether they were going to maybe change it re-theme it or whatever but yeah Venus Reborn I'm just going to have a look back now we'll be joining the ride the lights again in a little while I'll just show you around here yeah. Pleasure Beach so there you go we will now get back on the promenade and get back on our way I'll st <laughs> next stop the tower okay we are back on the road back on the road for Ride the Lights 2021 taking up the promenade Blackpool promenade showing you all the sights while the promenade is closed off to regular traffic from 7 o'clock until 10 o'clock so that everybody can get on the push bikes and ride up and down without having to worry about cars we're just going past the white tower now this is the white tower at Blackpool Pleasure Beach on our left we've got the sand castle Sandcastle water park does anybody remember the open air baths that used to be here the open air baths which used to be right here where the sandcastle is look up the Blackpool open air baths who are really grand a lot of people didn't agree with the sandcastle I think it was a bit of a white elephant when it was first built to be honest they knocked the Derby baths down as part of the agreement to build the sandcastle uh, sand yeah the derby baths were knocked down as well at the same time before they built the sandcastle now coming up on the south pier on the right hand side we've got the weatherspoons velvet coaster pub this used to be the lucky star the Lucky Star Amusements yeah that was a Lucky Star fast approaching the South Pier now getting starting to get quite busy now I can start to feel more people around us but we've got at least we've got nice weather again we usually had pretty good weather for this event i can't remember having bad weather the thing is whenever they turn the illuminations on is that it always seems to bring on the bad weather we're going past the south pier there there's the south pier lots of rides on the south pier if you're a thrill seeker pablo's Pablo's over there ice cream lots of people waiting for a tram yeah. <laughs> I can see a nice view over the sea I'm going to have to show you that we're just going past the Viking the Viking Hotel and after the Viking we get the Queen's Hotel here on South Promenade two very popular hotels I'll just give you a quick view of the beach here there's the South Pier we're looking out over the Irish Sea now it's a really nice view 
it's actually quite clear despite being cloudy we can even see the Lake District up here look at that doesn't that look so clear up there towards the Lake District anyway let's carry on okay we're back on the road again and we're now approaching Waterloo Road here in South Shore the illuminations are starting to look a lot brighter now as it gets a bit darker McDonald's here on the right hand side just across from there is the Dutton Arms pub yo yo I'm not live no <laughs> Just saw another YouTuber there, Elliot's Adventures. Get following Elliot's Adventures for more epic vlogs of Blackpool and the Filed Coast. He was asking me if I was live. I said no. I didn't do a live stream because I was a bit concerned about the signal dropping, so I decided to just film this event and just put it up because that will be much easier, I think. So we're now going past Yates's. This is Yates's. And just the other side of Yates's is Mother Hubbard's fish and chips. Famous fish and chips since 1972. You've got plenty of places to get fish and chips here in Blackpool. The tower looks really, really nice now. I think the illuminations look better before the sky gets too dark. I always think they look nice in the in the dusk kind of stuff. Look at this is like a little what's that there? Dodge them, dodge them thing. Dodge them, sorry. So we're now on the main drag of the Golden Mile. Ride the lights 2021. Someone's cheating there, they're on a scooter, look. These scooters. Yeah, I think the last Ride the Lights two years ago, I don't think anybody had an e-scooter or an e-bike. This is how quickly they have come on. They've come on so fast, those things. But this part of the promenade, you do get a really nice view of the tower from here through the illuminations. If I can just get towards the middle of the road, we can see. Can you see that straight ahead? It probably looks better to me than it does on the on the. The, the camera tends to overexpose a little bit, but that does look really really nice. Tower lit up there behind all the other illuminations. This big blue hotel on the right hand side now is the Lindy, a very popular hotel here in Blackpool. This is a hotel that actually closed in the winter, closed for a while, and we thought it might be shutting up. But then the new management took over and it's now reopened and looking busier than ever. The Lindy Hotel. hear music again someone's playing music hey walk on the wild side Yo. <laughs> see you later, see you later. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> i knew i'd meet some fans along the way it's inevitable it does feel a little bit of rain a little bit of light rain at the moment not bad really it's uh quite nice conditions really for it could be a lot worse like I say when when the illuminations come on in Blackpool the, the weather tends to go to pot well the illuminations are coming on on Friday this week so there's plenty of time for the weather to turn and we will see 
I'll just show you this hotel here. That's a, the Dutchman. I think that hotel's up for sale, you know. If anybody fancies buying a Blackpool hotel, the Dutchman is for sale. This one here is a Royal Windsor. And we'll soon be coming up on the Manchester, Manchester Square. This is Manchester Square. Does anybody remember the old treatment works, the sewage treatment works, and they used to have a black and white tower thing, a chimney sort of thing, um, that used to vent the fumes. And now they've been replaced by these things, which are called venting blades. So these are for venting the, the fumes, and there used to be a black and white tower, if anybody remembers it. That's a nice Land Rover over there, isn't it? Look, Beach Patrol, that must be brand spanking new there. So this is Manchester Square, we're just going to go for a red light. <laughs> Everybody else is. Manchester Square, I'll just give you a look around, looking back towards the Manchester there. Now we've got these hotels on the right hand side, we've got the Royal Sea Bank. <laughs> and the Craggy Don. I hope I'm saying that right. The Craggy Don. It's Welsh. This is the Craggy Don. Got the Bal Balmoral in between those. I feel the rain starting to come down a bit uh, heavier. I hope it's not on the lens. If it is, I'll wipe it off in a minute. Okay, we're back off again. Had to clean the lens there because there was a bit of uh, rain on the lens. There's a great British fudge bus over there. Next to that is the Fox Hall, which I've featured in a few of my videos already. The Fox Hall pub. And this one on the corner is the Reflex. I think that's... Is it different? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Does anybody know? I'm not sure. That's the Fox Hall, the oldest part of Blackpool, by the way. And you know that pub there is built on the site of the oldest building ever in Blackpool, the Fox Hall. And that's where it got its name from. Yeah, the oldest part of Blackpool, Fox Hall. So we're now coming up to the arcade section where they've got all the arcades. Pat's Bingo here, Pat's Tempe Bingo. If anybody fancies a bit of bingo. On the cheek. Red one and six, week 16. White six and five, 65. More eating places here. Just look at all these people, it's amazing, isn't it? Fun Palace here. Silcox Fun Palace. We are now heading towards the central pier. Just look at that tower, doesn't it look amazing? So we're now coming up to the central pier on the left hand side. It's starting to look really nice now. It's getting darker, the illuminations are getting brighter. More music going on now as we go past the central pier. Someone's got a beatbox over there. stop at these lights here to let some people across. <coughs> so we've just gone past the central pier and we're now about to go past the waxworks on the right hand side, Madame Two Swords. This is Madame Two Swords. Just look at all these people at the tram place. Look at all these people, wow. Amazing. It's getting really busy now. Really busy. Not much room. Thank you. 
I think his beatbox was about to fall off his back. We're just going past Funland. It's my favourite arcade in the old days when it was run by Barry Noble. Funland. Barry Noble ended up buying Coral Island, which we're just coming up to up here, Coral Island. Sea Life Centre on the right hand side. On the left hand side here we have the RNLI lifeboat station that used to be next to the central pier if anybody remembers the old lifeboat station used to be next to the central pier this is the golden mile amusements on the right hand side it used to be mr b's this used to be mr b's it's now the golden mile and we're getting ever closer to the tower look at this now it's starting to look pretty awesome we're going to stop up here and have a look around. Look at that now, doesn't it look amazing? All sorts of bikes. I even saw a Sinclair C5 before, I'm not sure if you saw it. Trikes, there was a penny farthing, which I wasn't filming, but we might see another one. Choppers, e scooters, plenty of like outlets here for something to eat if you want. Very popular around here, these places. This place here now on the right, this black building, is the new Sands Venue building, the hotel, the Blackburn Museum, and also there's a new Spyglass bar. Look at that, there. can you see that sign? There's a new bar, which is going to be called the Spyglass bar. That sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Anyway, we're now getting ever closer to the tower. This is a Woolworth building on the right hand side, which they've still got in scaffolding. Anyway, I'm going to come off now here and we'll have a little look what's going on around here look at this this looks so exciting doesn't it look at this whoa let's go and have a look at this shall we now then check this out first time i've seen this this year it's the hms blackpool look at this Yeah, there's a nice atmosphere around here. Seems like a lot of people have stopped off here. Bit of a rest, maybe. Do the bike up. A few people selling souvenirs. The guy over here selling ice cream. He's uh, always here on the promenade. We've got this thing lit up here, which is going to be open during the illuminations. Interactive. There's another one over here. Yeah, but this is a comedy carpet just up here now. And yeah, it's pretty packed. There's a lot of people around here. Look at all this, yeah. People having the picture taken in front of the I Love Blackpool sign. Look at this. Yeah. Get your picture taken in front of the I Love Blackpool sign. All this here is. The light pool on the left hand side there, the, the uh, projection that projects the light show and music show onto the tower there. Doesn't it look amazing? Anyway, it's time to carry on now and head further north. Yeah, so we'll head back onto the promenade again and carry on. Dogs going mental here, look. So here we go. I passed the famous tower. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? Look at this. As we go past Blackpool Tower, ride the lights 20. 21 look at this look at all these people here on the comedy carpet 
Sao sư rồi thế ta So we've now just passed the tower and the next landmark will be the north pier, Talbot Square. On the right hand side we've got the Viva Cabaret Bar if anyone's interested in entertainment. It's a really really good place actually the Viva in this building here this used to be the Lewis's department store who remembers Lewis's yo on the left is the beach house very upmarket uh, bistro the beach house on the right hand side here we've got Papa's fish and chips this is new all new this place here Papa's fish and chips I'll have to go in there won't I Papa's fish and chips So we're now almost at the north there. Lots of people putting lights on the back. Couple places on the right which are featured in previous video got shenanigans. The Irish fun bar which is sounds like a lot of fun in there and Yates's and now we're approaching the North Pier look at this Blackpool's longest pier the North Pier the first pier to be built as well I think it was called the Victoria Pier when they first built it the Victoria Pier and when they built the Central Pier the one that's now the Central Pier after it that was called the South Pier at the time until they built the South Pier so they had to change the uh, name so there you go the central pier and we are now sorry the north pier <laughs> the north pier and we are now opposite talbot go, square go, and look at that go. there can you see go. that building there the new premier inn which was built on the site of the old yates's wine lodge who remembers the old yates's wine lodge and this is where the tram tracks turn up that road there towards the new station which is still under construction so you'll be able to take the tram all the way up there off the promenade to the new tram station where you can then get on the train without having to walk okay so we're now coming up to queen street on the right hand side which i have featured quite a lot in my videos queen street it's a very lively place with pubs and clubs Got the soul suite on the corner here and opposite there is the famous metropole hotel there's been a, there's been a hotel there since 1776 it used to be called bailey's bailey's hotel it was built there in 1776 it's the only hotel that's officially on blackpool's promenade the only hotel that's on that side of the transfer I remember in the old days when it wasn't well it wasn't that long ago actually it was only 20 odd years ago when you used to come down here and you used to have to do battle with the trams it was like a game of chicken coming down here uh, just on the right hand side here this used to be not too long ago well i'll say like 20 years ago the business and main street who remembers main street it was there and then it was club sanook for quite a while and now it's woody's where Benidorm meets Blackpool. So we're about to go up a bit of a an incline here as we come past the Metropole. It goes uphill. We do climb quite a bit here. The promenade does go up quite a bit. It's not it's not as flat as you think, Blackpool. You know. It's 
So we're just past the Metropole now. And another thing as well that I noticed when the tram tracks were not sectioned off is that some cars used to get some cars coming up here and instead of following the promenade they would go up the tram tracks up here yeah so this is a bit here now where the tram tracks are separate here now this is where some people used to make the mistake of going up the tram tracks instead of following the road yeah, so this is one of my favourite parts of the promenade because it's higher up and you can see quite a bit more from here over the sea. We're just coming up to uh, Cocker Street, is it? I think this is Cocker Street. They used to have baths here. Yeah, they used to have uh, swimming baths here at Cocker Street. So anybody remembers the swimming bath? Just going past the hotel now on the right hand side called the North Shore Hotel. This is quite a narrow part of the promenade here actually so we're a little bit squeezed in here. The North Shore Hotel on the right. We're just coming up to a hotel called the Parisian, but I don't think it's open. This pink hotel is called Tiffany's. Yeah, this is the Parisian, but it's not open. So this hotel here is Tiffany's. And next to Tiffany's is the Claremont. The next big landmark will be the, the Imperial Hotel. This street here is called Pleasant Street. We've got a Best Western Hotel here on the corner. So this is the Best Western Hotel. We're now heading towards Ginn Square. I'll stop at Ginn Square and just check and see because they do have a display at Ginn Square in the roundabout this year. It's a Spitfire like it was last year. And I'll just check and see if it's working. I'm not sure, but we'll have a look. Ginn Square has always had a feature. Just on the right hand side, we've got the Park House Hotel. We're almost at the Imperial. The Imperial Hotel is a hotel where heads of state, queens stayed there, all sorts of famous people have stayed at the Imperial Hotel. It's one of the hotels that they've used whenever, whenever they've had party conferences. The Imperial Hotel. Yeah, we're just going past the Imperial Hotel now. This is the Imperial Hotel. Yeah, that's the Imperial. And the next big hotel we're coming up to is the President. But this was in the news last year when the police raided it because there was a cannabis farm in there. It was empty, it was, wasn't being run last year. Yeah, they found a cannabis farm in this hotel right here, the President. 
next to the president is the Strand Hotel. Does anybody know anything about the Strand? Any Coronation Street fans will probably know that this is the hotel that uh, Rita Fairclough ran out of, getting away from Alan Bradley, chased after it, and ended up getting run over by a tram right here. And that was the end of Alan Bradley. So there you go. We're now actually coming down a hill. On the right hand side here, we've got the Grand Hotel. This is the Grand Hotel. It's run by Britannia Hotels. It used to be the Hilton before this. And before the Hilton, it was the Stackis. And before the Stackis, it was the Pembroke. And so when it was originally built, it was called the Pembroke Hotel, this. And just on the other side of this hotel is where the Derby Bass one stood. The Derby Bass stood in this plot of land just here to the left of this hotel. Nothing has ever been built on this land since. So this area here was where the Derby Bass used to be. So we're now heading down to Ginn Square. We'll be there fairly soon. And I'll just stop to have a look around and we'll see if that uh, Spitfires. I'm not sure if it will be, but we'll have a look. It is a, one of the features of the illuminations. Let's see that looks like an old gold mine cart from the Pleasure Beach. An old gold mine cart. Yeah, we're now about to turn on this bend now, coming down onto Ginn Square. And then we'll be in the final straight then towards Red Bank Road, where they have the... We will see the tableaus, the tableau section of the illuminations. So we've got the Spitfire down here. It doesn't look like it's lit up, so I probably won't stop if it isn't. The Spitfire is a model, a scale model of a Spitfire in the roundabout. Um, it's Hangar 42 at Blackpool Airport, that are behind it. And when the illuminations are on proper, this will light up in all colours and it will also have searchlights and music and all sorts of sound effects of the wall. So this is the Spitfire, not sure if you can see it, it is in darkness. Yeah, that's where the Spitfire is, on Ginn Square. So we're now heading back up the hill again now. We've got the Savoy Hotel on the right hand side another Britannia hotel they seem to own everything now don't they Britannia yeah so we're now coming up Savoy hotel There's a park on the left hand side called Jubilee Gardens, a little park there on the left. The next major hotel is the Cliffs Hotel. And there is a hotel here on the right hand side called the New Hackett which suffered a fire last year. It's been closed off ever since. The new Hackett's, I did feature that in a video after the fire. Yeah, so we're just going past the Cliffs Hotel now.
I believe the cliffs is run by the same owners as the Claremont Hotel and the Viking Hotel and the Patterdale Hotel in the Lake District <coughs> So, some hotels on the right hand side. We've got the Royal Boston, if anybody knows that, the Royal Boston here. And then after that, we've got the Elgin, the Elgin Hotel. Yeah, this one here is the Elgin. I've heard it's a hotel that's uh, favoured by the older people, yes, someone told me. <laughs> someone told me she went to stay at the hotel there and it was full of, she said it was full of uh, old people. <laughs> that's, that's her words. <laughs> anyway, just coming up to the Doric. I've just got to stop here for the lights. Mark Kelly's, the Mark Kelly showboat there. Very, very popular. And we're just going past the Doric. This is the Doric. And next to the Doric is the Sheraton Hotel. Lots of people around. Someone being towed on the bike by an e-scooter there, look. This building on the right hand side is the Genting Casino. It used to be the Castle Casino. Looks a bit like a castle. Yeah, we're fast approaching Red Bank Road now. Heading down this straight here where we'll have the tableau section of the illuminations where all the animated Boards are up here on the left hand side, we'll have a little look at those and then we'll soon be at Red Bank Road and if you're hungry after the ride through the lights there's plenty of places to get fish and chips up here at Red Bank Road we'll see those now a little bit more residential now quite a few private houses now along this section here now so here is the tableau section here now I think that one there is for the Elgin see that one there that's, that's sponsored by the Elgin Hotel we've got one here with a stunt biker jumping over these buses and down the next one along is a pirate pirate ship thing that's, that's a funny one, that one, the pirate one. It's not lit up at the moment, but hopefully it will be by the time the illuminations are on. We've got Sutty coming up. Quite a few people sat out on the balconies here at these flats watching the people ride past. So we're just going past the sooty display here, Blackpool Illuminations. Not far to go now. It's taken us around about an hour or so to cycle, maybe a little bit less. I've stopped off a couple of times as well, so. To cycle all this way through the eliminations you're probably looking at about 45 minutes if you take it easy so these are the displays they're not all working but i'm sure that they will be by the time we get to the switch on we are about to approach another major landmark just up here which is the old miners convalescent home which has since been turned into luxury apartments. You might not be able to see it because it's very dark, but uh, we'll, we'll have a look and see. Come on to the left, here we go. 
Yes, it's just on the right hand side here. The old miners convalescent home. They, uh, they used to have the initials miners convalescent home MCH um, spelt out in grass. I remember. I don't think it's there now. I think they've uh, they've done away with it. But yeah, this is the the old man. It's a very grand building. Yeah. We're actually in a donation point here. This is one of the points where you can chuck a bit of your change in to help the illuminations. So, getting very close to Red Bank Road now and the end of the illuminations. Yeah, we're almost at Red Bank Road now. There's a few more hotels appeared now. There's a bit of a break in the hotels there, but the hotels are starting to appear again now. I spy some Daleks over there, Daleks. Just going past the Brincliff Hotel. The Brincliff. Seek out holiday apartments. The Cliff Head. There's the Daleks there, can you see them? And the TARDIS. Not far to go now. Some more hotels here. This one's called Stay, is it? Stay? The Stay Hotel, huh? Queen's Promenade. Here's another one called The Burbage. The Burbage Holiday Lodge. The Burbage is owned by the same person that owns the Queen's Mansions, which is just up here, by the way. The Queen's Mansions Art Deco apartments really really nice nice place to stay if you're coming to Blackpool this pub here is called the Highlands the Highlands pub here on the promenade and we are now almost at Red Bank Road we're almost here now in Bispam so there's the Queen's Mansions on the right hand side and on the bottom floor is Hearts Amusements. Look at this. Hearts Amusements. That's just opposite Bishpum. Bishpum Station. There we go. Oh, I can hear that music again. Listen to this. That's powerful, that is. Wow. That is noisy. And that's it. That's the end of Ride the Lights. Now just take a little look around Red Bank Road at some of the chippies that you can visit when you come to the end of Ride the Lights. So this is where everybody turns around at Red Bank Road and then if you're still up for it you can head all the way back towards the south. Back to where you started. Okay, so I'll just show you these places here now. We've got the top chippy here. And next to the top chippy, we've got the Bispam Kitchen. If you ever go in the Bispam Kitchen, you might just see my panorama of Blackpool on the right-hand wall. 
at a top weather drone. It's massive. It's absolutely huge. And also we've got the Cafe Royale. This is the Cafe Royale. And I've also got a panorama in here as well. A panorama of Red Bank Road. And I've also got a sunset photograph in the room on the left there. So if you ever go in the Cafe Royale, look out for my pictures. And here we are. This is it. The end of Ride the Lights here at Red Bank Road. Wasn't it amazing? Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again next time.